and I'm on the board of the Native Women's Unity Association and I'm here today in Sacramento State Capitol in regards to the uh, missing uh, women, children uh, for International uh, Women's Day March. Um, we are here uh, for this display and to speak on uh, missing indigenous women, uh, black women, um, the border um, crimes against humanity that are occurring at the border. Um, uh, and uh, basically to bring attention to something that isn't being addressed. Um, there are several movements out there, including the Me Too movement that does not address um, the indigenous issue that's happening. Women are being raped, kidnapped, and are missing all over Montana, Wisconsin, different areas, and uh, no one's is talking about it. Uh, there's over 64,000 uh, black women and children that are missing, and it's never brought to the attention of the media. Uh, and um, we need to bring attention to this. Uh, the Department of Justice needs to be involved, and um, we need to have these um, these uh, tragedies uh, 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 investigated. And um, it, unfortunately, what's happened is the system, the society, doesn't bring value to women of color. Um, we are in the, at the very bottom rung of all of this. And um, um, unless we fight for our rights and for to bring attention to this, it's not going to come to light. So um, it is very important that we all get involved and uh, uh, share information um, and press our um, representatives to uh, do something about this and address this. I was just told that someone uh, came missing or was found uh, yesterday here near Sacramento. Um, and I mean, these are people's families. Um, also, um, Stefan Clark, um, uh, they're not going to prosecute the police uh, on the Stefan Clark murder. Uh, how often does, do we hear uh, black, unarmed black men and brown men being murdered by the police and it's become normalized? It's like uh, there's no value in human life in this country, especially if you're a person of color and especially if you're a woman. So um, we're here today to uh, speak on that and speak on an indigenous issue. Um, the fact is that this patriarchal uh, white supremacist system um, does not allow for, for us to have a voice. Um, we know that in our culture, um, women were the ones that made the decisions. Um, we had a matriarchal system uh, that worked very well, and um, we had a communal system where everyone was provided for, and we've gone away from that, um, and that is why this country is failing the way it is. Um, there is no doubt we have um, 40 million people living in poverty, 30 million people without health care, 45,000 people annually die uh, due to lack of health care in this country. Um, we have over half a million, just that's just that we know of, of homeless people in this country, and yet this is supposed to be the wealthiest country in the world. And there's a reason for that. A capitalist system, a white supremacist system, will always fail uh, people of color and women. And that is why this country is in the position it is. We cannot sit there and allow the propaganda that's being uh, put out there in regards to Venezuela um, to uh, uh, invade a sovereign nation of a democratically elected leader um, like Maduro and have the United States imply that they're doing it out of concern for uh, the people of Venezuela when we know that that's not, that's not correct. If the United States actually cared about uh, the people of Venezuela, they'd be taking care of the people here in the United States and they'd be taking care of uh, the women and the children and there wouldn't be poverty and there wouldn't be people dying due to lack of health care. But that's not happening and we need to do something about that. We can no longer allow uh, the American uh, American imperialism to continue to destroy uh, other nations, other peoples. Uh, we know that every three months uh, a language is lost in the, in the world. I mean, that's, that's horrendous. And yet um, uh, it continues to happen because uh, the United States uh, continues to uh, impose itself on other, uh, uh, on other countries and on other peoples. So um, I'm here today to speak uh, on behalf of the Native Women's Union Association, to speak on the indigenous issues, uh, women and children that are missing, um, and the plight of, uh, of uh, the First Nation people throughout the United States.